Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. Amazon just released the Kindle app for Android devices. I'm a big user of the Kindle because you buy a Kindle book and then it's accessible on the Kindle, on Android, on iPhone, on iPad, on your Mac and your PC. So you buy it once and it's available on many different platforms and they synchronize the last page you read. They synchronize highlights and bookmarks. So it's a very, very cross-platform product. Let's take a look at the latest Android application that runs Kindle. Alrighty, now the iPhone application for Kindle has been out for a very long time, and it works very, very well. It's evolved quite nicely. You can search within a book. You can go back to your home screen. Uh, you can, right there, it's a sync to your furthest reading location. Very well done application. Um, and of course, here's the home screen. You can access your archived books if you click Get Books. It's not integrated as well as iBooks uh, to where you can buy the, the book right within the application. You have to go to the web, but it's well done. So let's see how it's done on Android. So I'm going to turn on the device here and unlock. And we're already in the application. Let me start from the beginning here. So here's the home screen, right? And these are your books that you've downloaded. And you tap, tap the menu item and you go to archived items that has a little picture of a cloud. This shows you all the books that you've ever purchased on Amazon. So let's say I want to get Lord of the Flies downloaded to my home screen. So it's downloading right now. Very, very fast. And here I am on the page that I last read. Now there are a few things you can do here. You can obviously go side to side. You can go into landscape. Very nice reading experience. Not sure why it's up. Oh, there it goes landscape and back to portrait and we have a few options so we can go into menu we can what's that doing is syncing to the recent location I'm going to go to view options and just like the iPhone app the iPad app and the PC and Mac app you can change the size of the text I'm going to keep it on the small so you can also change the color of the background and right within the application you can adjust the uh, the home screen brightness now what I'm going to do now is compare both applications directly. And by the way, the only limitation of, of the Android app, and they're actually pretty significant, is number one, you cannot uh, highlight, which is quite annoying. So typically in, a, in the Android application, you can tap and hold and a little highlighting thing comes up. Can't do that. Number two, if you press the search button, you cannot search within a book. So this is the first version of the Android application. So here we are on the same page and we're going to pull this up and see what it looks like. Let me synchronize the page here on both devices and we will should be able to get there we are we're on the same page now and you can see the difference between these applications they're very very similar similar reading experience because the higher resolution screen on the iPhone 4 uh, I almost said iPhone 3GS you get to see an additional couple lines of text so over here this ends with uh, Leonard Korn author of the book and over here, you get a couple, probably two or three extra lines of text. These are both set to the smallest text size. But overall, the Kindle app on Android is well done. If you are a Kindle user, you'll be happy to know that you can get your Kindle books on yet another platform. Really awesome. Something that the other reading platforms like Barnes & Noble cannot offer. Please subscribe to our channel if you like our video and give this video a thumbs up. That's it for now.